Hi, my name is Vadim. I'm 18 years old and I'm a Hazara refugee living in Kisirwa outside of Jakarta. Since I was a child, I loved karate. I had a black belt and I was a national champion. But in Pakistan and Afghanistan, my people are persecuted by the Taliban. When a bomb went off near my school, killing 126 people, I decided that I had to leave. Like many other Hazaras, I am stuck here in Indonesia. I have a mobile phone and I have started to make a film about our lives. I live in a small house with three Hazaras, Baz Muhammad, Rahim and Amanullah. We try to stay positive and keep our days structured. Everyone has a job to do. Every day, Baz Muhammad makes a nun. He escaped from Malistan, but he still has five children and a wife back in Pakistan. He has been here for one year now. Rahim is from Jaguri and he has been here for 18 months. His job is to buy the supplies and he is a great cook. I especially love his fruit smoothies. But it is really hard for him. 18 months is a really long time to be stuck in one place. Amanullah is 20 years old. Like many Hazara in Chisarwa, he loves to play football. In Chisarwa, football is more than just for fun. It helps keep away the tension and worry. Amanullah usually plays at a pitch not far from our house. But if the Indonesians are already there, they can't play. It really ruins his day. Some of the Hazara have started a refugee football league. Most days at 3 p.m. there is a game. Many Hazara go and watch. It's great fun. Music is another way we entertain ourselves. Abdul Khalif was a great Dambra player. So Baz Muhammad and the others made him a Dambra. In Chisarwa, we make them out of old motorcycle helmets. We love Dambra. We all try and learn English. I'm lucky because I learned when I was in Pakistan. But for some of the older men, it is really difficult. One of the most important things for all of us is to register with United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR. They decide whether we are genuine refugees or not. I followed Baz Muhammad to the UNHCR office in Jakarta. After nine months, he was to find out if he'd been given refugee status. He starts early and after three hours, he gets his letter. He's successful, but does not look any happier. When I ask him, he says he was a refugee since the day he left home and the letter does not make any difference to that. Nonetheless, when we get home, we decided to have a celebration. We bought a fresh chicken, a real treat for us. And we invited some friends over. Afterwards, it was New Year's Eve, and we played music and watched the fireworks. It was beautiful. 